I get a, um, a lot of questions. Um, people reach out and ask, and and uh, so just an easy way to kind of address those because I, you know, I get more than one person will ask me, you know, questions very similar to each other, or pretty much the same question, or whatever. And I figured I just um, it'd be easier just to record it in that way, just be easier to. Um, for other people to, to see it instead of you know typing it out or, or whatever so anyways the, the question that I got asked uh, recently was um, do you still think of bringing in other qualities from other lines to your uh, breeding stock or do you believe that uh, you're in a position where you have the uh, building blocks that you want and need to create the ideal uh, you, you set for yourself the, the ideal type um, and the I guess yes and no you know uh, I'm, I'm always looking for something um, as good or better you know I, realistically I'm always looking for something better but uh, the facts are you know it, it might be out there but I don't know you know, I have a lot of criteria and a lot of um, a lot of boxes they need to check. You know, it can't just be good at one thing. Uh, it, it's easier to look when you're when you're breeding, and with my own stock, it's I can look at stuff like that and say, hey, if a dog needs more mouth or if it needs um, I don't know more wind or more leg, um, whatever the situation is, and kind of you know add that just looking at that one side but you have to remember when you add in uh, traits you're also going to add in bad traits and so you have to look at the whole picture so when I do look for something I can add to my line or bring in to, to help incorporate it either to strengthen or to uh, to just improve or keep the same um, I have to look at the negatives as well so um, I got to look at it and say, are they, you know, what's the, the problems I could potentially bring in? You know, is it, you know, bad bites? Is it, uh, you know, um, I don't know, temperament issues possibly, you know, maybe not that dog uh, specifically, but maybe the parents, you know, uh, maybe health issues, uh, intestinal problems you know cancer I mean there's so the list goes on and on so from that aspect of it you know it's really hard but uh, but just the short answer yeah I'm always looking uh, but realistically you know it's easier right now where I am and, and that's the reason why I have is is the amount of dogs that I do have and have family you know and have um, I have access to my my dogs that I can work with, you know, enough of them where I feel like I can I can you know go a, another decade or, or two without needing uh, you know a, a specific cross, and and so that's kind of um, that's kind of the direction I am. But but you know if tomorrow uh, something pops up and you know uh, I'm not kennel blind as far as I I. I I know a good dog when I well when I, I see when I'm gonna try to use it or try to uh, you know if it if it's good qualities so just the problem you have is a lot of people either don't know and maybe that's that's the real reason they just don't know the negatives they they don't know the parents they don't know the you know the mother was a bad mother or maybe you know whatever that could pop up potentially and cause more problem by just a simple oh the dog you know looks good it's a lot like my dog so heck let me just go ahead and uh, add it to my my bloodline you know it doesn't work like that because I could uh, very easily you know ruin my bloodline uh, by keeping I, I don't keep as many as some you know like back in the day so you know if, if a female's her last litter or whatever you know Mel gets gets heaven forbid killed by a hog or something in the woods then suddenly you know that was my one chance so I try to pick those tickets you know very carefully uh, when I do decide what breeding is is uh, is best and, and bringing in new blood so it's it's a lot and I, I do my homework and research and I might study 
you know, a certain bloodline or family for several years before I even consider it and, and try to get the good and the bad. And I know there's nothing out there that's not going to have some negative with it, but I want to know how to look out for it and make sure I, I, I don't breed towards that and definitely uh, keep it out if I do any crosses or anything.